Okay, here we're going to look at uh, removing dust spots from an image and as you can see we've got a, a photograph here of a, a Spitfire and some fairly some fairly large dust spots there which are kind of spoiling it. So if we uh, if you want to get rid of these, uh, two two main ways of getting rid of dust spots. Um, and the first is using the spot healing brush tool which is here uh, if we just click on that it's a brush tool so we get a, a round cursor and if you right click on the image you'll get the, the brush control box and you can resize it to whatever size you, you need and in this case we'll go for say 100 pixels and you've got the hardness uh, control here so you can set the brush hardness 100% hardness gives you a very hard edge brush and zero gives you a very very soft brush and we're looking for a soft brush to, to blend in to the background and the idea of the spot healing brush tool is that it, just, it does just that if you place the, the brush over the blemish and left click it tries to to blend that area in with the surrounding area which removes your your dust spot so again if you just put the cursor over the dust spot and uh, left click and you'll see that uh, it, it blends that area in with the surrounding area and it's left clicking And now if we go back to fit the screen you'll see that all the all the dust spots have gone. So that is one way of, uh, of removing dust spots. The other way is using the uh, clone tool. And if we go back to the original image and bring back the dust spots there. Uh, so now we're back to the original image and we're going to use the clone tool here to do exactly the same thing. So if we click on that, and again you get a round, a round brush tool. And if we zoom in onto one of the dust spots, uh, with the clone tool you have to you have to manually select an area that you're going to take a patch from and put the patch over the dust spot. So again you set up your size in exactly the same way, um, and again we'll go for around about 100 pixels. And again, you've got the, the hardness slider here, so a very hard slider, or very soft. And again, we'll, we'll use a very soft because we want it to blend in as much as possible. So let's get rid of that window there. And uh, to use the clone tool, you have to take a, a patch first. So you have to take a, an area first that you're going to use as a patch over the, uh, the dust spot. So we put the cursor to an area next to the dust spot and hold down the ALT key on your keyboard you'll notice the cursor changes uh, to a gun sight so if you now left click on the mouse whilst you're holding the ALT key down that tells window, uh, Photoshop to take a patch from that spot and when you move the cursor and place it over the, the dust spot and click on the left hand mouse key again it's taken a patch from from where you asked it to, you might have to do it a couple of times. It's taken a patch from where you asked it to and uh, placed it over the dust spot. So again, if we show you that again, if you place the cursor uh, next to the area that you want to cover, so you're selecting that area, hold down the ALT key and left click the mouse, that tells uh, Photoshop to take a patch from there and when you put the cursor over the, the dust spot and left click again it covers it with the patch that you've just taken from there and again and again so now if we look at the before picture you'll see that all, all the dust spots have gone